Come on, Peter. You'll have to do better than that. Right. I'm absolutely going to be more horrid. After breakfast. <laughs> Out of my way, worm! <sighs> Stupid weeds! You knew Great Aunt Greta was coming, didn't you? Henry? What are you doing? Um, I'm looking for slugs. Look, I've got loads already. Lovely, Henry. Well, just stay away from my flowers. Lies, Henry. It's true. I sprayed him. Well, Henry, you should have got out of the way when Peter was watering the flowers. What's the big idea? You're not the only one that can be horrid. <laughs> you call that horrid? Ha! Henry, you're filthy. I can't have Great Aunt Greta seeing you like that. Bath now. But now! Peter, be a good boy and empty the slugs out the back. Can't have Great Aunt Greta seeing them. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. What do I have to do to get into trouble? Peter, be a good boy and put these on the living room table for Great Aunt Greta. Yes, Mum. Ooh, chocolates. Ooh. Peter! Tell me you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. Go on, Peter. You can do it. <laughs> now, I'm truly horrid. <laughs> and I spoke with my mouth full. Not my goody two shoes, wormy little brother. <laughs> huh? It's so easy being me. I'm oh, why don't they realise I'm being invaded by germs? I'm off to work before I catch whatever's going round. Bye! Looks like you'll be staying at home after all, Henry. Yes! Result! <laughs> Come on then, back to bed, Henry. If you're sick, you have to lie down. And that means no computer games. Oh, Mum! Playing computer games makes me feel better! If you're well enough to play, you're well enough to go to school. Sick if you can't play on the computer. <gasps> Mom, I'm hungry. Mom, I'm thirsty. Mom, my bed's too hot. Mom, my bed's too cold. Mom! <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
feel terrible. You all have to look after yourselves until Dad comes home. Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Can I play on the computer? <coughs> oh, all right. But first, can you bring me a glass of orange juice? Oh! If you're not up to it, perhaps you should go back to bed. And bring pieces of ice cream for his throat, please. Oh. It's so easy being me. I'm Don't let me down! Pick these toys up, Henry. Someone could hurt themselves. How did she know I was here? Yes! Did you get everything for tea? No! No funny disaster! No 200 pounds! Not much time left! What am I going to do now? Why can't I play on my happy hopper instead? Because it won't look as funny. That I mean good. Mum and Dad will love seeing their little Peter playing in the garden. And action! Woohoo! I did it! I did it! That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap! Whoa! Oh. <coughs> Mum and Dad will be so proud that their little angel has learned to ride his bike. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. Come on, Worm. Just think of the proud look on Mum and Dad's faces. Are you okay? Do I look okay? <laughs> You're okay. Now, both of you clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Woo! Goody! Brushy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Laugh Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! Dress rehearsal. Take up your positions, everyone. <laughs> Linda, I said everyone. Oh, mm -mm. thank you. Now, clouds over there, flowers over there, thunder cloud over there, and raindrops over here. And begin. 
Like the souffle, children! Like the souffle! Mads! Hand me pushing! Lift and plie! Come ah. on, Margaret! Sink thunder! Ah. Miss! Henry's kicking! Heel toe! Heel toe! Turn to the left and plie! Sorry, Madam Tutu. I tried my best. Maybe I shouldn't be in the concert. <laughs> Listen to me, Henri. There are no failures in my class. There aren't? No. Everyone has talent if they work hard, and you will be up on that stage with everyone else. Don't you worry. Oh. What am I going to do, Ralph? I haven't got much time left. Maybe the concert will be so bad, no one will notice you. Eureka! That's it! Well, I need to borrow your karate costume. Hey! Bad! What did I say? I don't know. It's so easy being me. I'm and his stupid plant waking me up so early. <sighs> it's for me! We've come to see your plant. How's it doing? Ta-da! Ooh, it's lovely! How do you get it to grow so big? Regular nutritious food. And I've been reading it poetry. Ooh, yes! yes. It especially likes sardines. Are you going to play a game, boys? Oh, yes! What a super idea! What shall we play? Sardines, of course! <laughs> How lovely! Shall I take your plant up to your room, Peter? Yes, please, Mum. Sam and I will count. Gordon, you hide. Oh, goody! One... Coming ready or not? I wonder if they're in here. Hey! Some of us are napping! Have you seen Gordon or Sam anywhere? No, I was asleep, Fungus Head. All I've seen was the inside of my eyelids. I was asleep! But... Out! Aha! I bet they're in here. Nope, not in here. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you, my little friend. It must be nearly feeding time. So 
safe keeping all that money in a Daffy Daisy piggy bank. Why? Oh, nothing. Just as long as the piggy bank robbers don't come. There's no such thing. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ugh, where'd you get these? They're Andrew's stick insects. I'm looking after them for the weekend. Why? Because that's what best friends do. And he donated 50 pence to my chosen charity. You mean he's paying you to look after his smelly old pets? Well, yes, sort of. You freaker! That's it! Henry's pet sitting service! Oh, my millions! Billions! Ralph, it's Henry. Listen, I want you to spread the word. Josh, hello. Oh, hi. Is Henry in? Henry? Why is everyone calling for Henry today? Uh, I don't know. Uh, he's upstairs, is he? Your scarf's moving. I'm not wearing a scarf. <laughs> Mrs Battleaxe. Hello. Uh, Brut. Right, thanks. I'll take care of it. Bye. So fast. What's in that box, Henry? Nothing. Just uh, some homework Miss Battleaxe wanted me to do. Hey, what's going on? Rabbits are extra. What's going on, Henry? Nothing. Uh, just off to play football. Football, eh? We'll see about that. Henry, let me in. Just a minute! of this room. What's wrong with it? It's a pigsty. When did you last make your bed? Last year. And how many times have I told you to put your toys away? Tidy your room today or no more pocket money. Henry, are you listening to me? Um, yeah. A t tidy my room. <laughs> Good. Well, don't just stand there. Get on with it. OK, OK, I am. He must be up to no good. Whose ball is that? Ah, Henry. Right past us. It's the blazers. They make us all look the same so the teachers don't notice us. It's like being invisible. It's working. <coughs> She's inside. What are we going to do? Leave it to me. I was saving this. Oh, well. Paper clips. 
You better stand guard in case old Bob comes back. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Look, how's Yo-Yo? Brian's encyclopedia, Gordon's gizmos, Gorinda's mirror, and some gross glass zero stickers. These are Margaret's. Hmm. One for all and all for one. Hey, my snot slime. I'd forgotten all about that. Hey, if you're in here, who's watching for Old Bod? Old Bod! You there. I know you're in there. Stop! This battle axe! Two pupils have raided the confiscation cupboard and taken everything back. What? And did you see them? Well, I didn't see their faces. But can you describe them? Well, yes. They were both wearing blazers. I think it sounds like a very good idea. It was the boss's idea. We're all doing it at Tingly Toothbrushes. <laughs> we'll start tomorrow. Now, where were we? Anyone see my tie anywhere? We're going to be late. Hurry up, Henry! We need to leave now. But I haven't had my breakfast yet. Seven o'clock, Henry. Four minutes to get dressed and downstairs for breakfast. Here are your individual timetables. Timetables? Yes. Everything has a set time. Eating breakfast, five minutes. Clearing the table, two minutes. Going to the toilet, half a minute, and so on. What about important stuff, uh, like watching TV? It's all on the sheet. Watching TV, five minutes after supper. Five minutes? Yes, Peter? Happy Hippos is longer than five minutes, Dad. What about all the programmes I want to watch? Hmm. You've wasted one minute of breakfast time arguing. Better get a move on. Finished! Excellent. Two minutes. So can I put the other four minutes towards watching TV? Five takeaway two is three, Henry. So it's three minutes, not four. And no, you get extra time to brush your teeth instead. Right then. Clearing table, one minute thirty. But I... Hurry up! Ready to leave in ten seconds! Henry, ten, nine, eight. Huh, just in time. See, I knew you could do it. No dawdling, Henry. Not dawdling. Ow! Keep up the pace, boys. Four minutes thirty. Let's really push it to the limit. That was fun, eh? Beats walking, and we saved eight minutes. Hooray! Have a good day, boys. You're nice and early. feel pampered and looked after with our easy guide to doing it yourself. Doing it yourself? How is that easy? Oh, my very own special spa day. I can't wait. Oh, look at the state of this kitchen. I really ought to tidy it up first. Maybe you could give me a hand, Henry. No! I mean, uh, sounds like you need to relax right now, Mum. No way am I tidying up the kitchen. Oh, 
You're right, Henry. I need a little me time. So what's first? A relaxing bubble bath, it says here. Oh, lovely. Step one, run the bath. Mm. Step two, add some bubbly stuff. Hmm. Step three, lie back and relax in your very own jack... Jacka... Jacka... Mum, what's a ja... A jacuzzi? A jacuzzi. A bath which blows bubbles. Oh, that sounds cool. Bubbles. I need something that can blow bubbles. Ah, come on, Winky the Whale. You've got a job to do. Mum! No need to shout, Henry. Your jacuzzi awaits. Why, thank you, Henry. Smells like washing up liquid. And what's this doing in my bath? Where's Winky the whale? He's being a ja jacuzzi. The word is jacuzzi, Henry. Jacuzzi. And Winky the whale is not a jacuzzi. I'm going to tidy up the kitchen. Oh, Dad will never forgive me if I don't give Mum a special spa day. Even worse, he might ask me for his ten pounds back. Henry, what are you doing there? Getting ready for your next treatment, of course. I'm warning you, Henry, I haven't got time for your jokes. Lie back and relax with a relaxing massage. Oh, a massage. How lovely. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Henry? Just relax, Mum. Henry, what are you doing? I'm creating an atus... A, an atomus... An atomus... An atmosphere? That's it. It says here, create an atmosphere with candles. I'm using my torch instead. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. <sighs> Never fear, Mum. The Scoop Tooters are here. interrupt this edition of Too Cool for School with a very important news story. Yes, it's very important. Even more important than Too Cool for School. We have just learned that someone has stolen something really rare and very valuable from the museum. This sounds like a job for the school tutors! Don't you want any biscuits, boys? Mm, thanks, Mum. Those boys... Mrs. Crunch, can you tell us any more about the really rare and very valuable thing that has been stolen from the museum? Yes. Yes, I can. Um, could you tell us that? Yes. Yes, I could. Um, now would be good, Mrs. Crunch. Oh, uh, 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 yes. Uh, uh, who would have thought that one of our really rare and very valuable exhibits would be stolen from under our very noses? And that valuable exhibit would be, Mrs. Crunch? A worm! A worm? Really? A worm? Yes, a worm. But not just any worm. One of the most rare and valuable worms the world has ever seen. No! Scoop two! Excuse Can me! Can we get through? Excuse Thank me. you! <laughs> that. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh! 
there, there. Never fear, Mrs. Crunch. The Scoot Tooters are here. Thank goodness. You're here. Oh, I don't think even the Scoot Tooters can solve this mystery. Oh. We're going in. you take Margaret's mobile phone? I mean, her uh, mobile mirror? No! I've never even seen her mobile mirror. Yes, you have, Henry. You've been jealous of my mobile mirror forever, and now you've stolen it! <gasps> yes, that's right. You pushed past me in the corridor, and you took it right from under my very nose. And now... And now... And now you're pretending that you didn't take trying to make me seem like the not normal and nice one when everyone knows that it's really <coughs> you who's not normal and nice. <laughs> Face it, Henry. There's nowhere you can run to. Nowhere to hide. Come on, Henry. Let's go. If all else fails, run. I was born to run. Morning, Henry. Morning, Dad. You're late, Henry. I know, Dad. Come on, Henry. I'll give you a lift into school. Oh, thanks, Dad. Just gotta find my tie. That means I've got time for another bowl of cereal. Huh? Is this boy a criminal? What? This boy might look normal and nice on the outside, but inside, he's far from normal and far from nice. So lock up your mobile phones, because Henry's here and he's horrible. They can't even get my name right. Who wrote this stuff? Written by Bill, son of Bob, who, by the way, owns this paper. And who also just happens to be my dad's boss. That's so not fair. Ready, Henry? Ready, Dad. How do I look? Um, good, Dad. Good. I mean, good that I look good, because today's the day I have my annual review at work. Oh, your annual review? Yes, you know, when Bossy Bob gives me a pay rise. <laughs> if I'm lucky. So I'm asking myself, do I feel lucky? <laughs> and I do. Oh, that's great, Dad. It's so easy. Ooh, this tin is really dirty, Henry. You ought to have a spring clean in here. Be my guest. You should take pride in your surroundings. I don't take pride in my surroundings. I'm very proud of my fort. Just the way it is. When are we going to start solving the mystery, Henry? Whoa, that's scary. Not as scary as Mum's going to be if you don't help me solve the mystery. Oh, tell me again what the message said. It said... Hashtag number no number one. Oh, Joy, my Saturday morning is complete. Margaret, you saw it too. Shall we? <laughs> so you watch number nines too? Never heard of them. But I do, as you know, own two mobile phones. What a bogey brain. So what do you... What do you... <laughs> Would you like to come in, Margaret? Oh, thank you, Peter. Don't mind if I do. What are you doing, Mum? You don't just invite a bogey brain over. She can help us solve the mystery. <laughs> But how do you know it wasn't her that sent the message in the first place? It wasn't. Yeah, yeah, we're supposed to believe you. Sometimes, Henry, I do tell the truth. Just not always to you. Right, what have we got then? 
Well, nothing really, except a message. Remind me again what it said. It said, hashtag number no number one. Hmm. Hashtag number no number one. You sure that was all it said? Hashtag number no number one. Why do you keep doing that, Henry? I don't know. It's like it's some weird habit I've got and I can't stop doing it. So this hashtag... What does hashtag even mean, anyway? Oh, you really do ask the most bird brain questions of all time. All of the time. Oh, yeah. Can't you see I'm busy? He's not worth it, Margaret. Come on, let's solve the mystery. Hashtag number no number one. Here we come. Hey, did you see that? I didn't do it that time. Peter said hashtag. And I put my fingers in my ears. Hey, do you hear that? That is the sound of silence, my friend. And that means we can go and hang out and watch Freak Nuts and Gross Car Zero. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Come on! <laughs> Forgot about the spring cleaning. <laughs> We'll have to find another way in. Let's try the front. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Ready for some more birthday fun, Henry? Are we ready for some more birthday fun? <laughs> oh, look at that, Henry. You were such a cutie wooty little baby waby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So I was cute once. More than once, Henry. I was cute too. Cute worm, yeah. <sighs> we were so young, Henry. For yourself, worm. I'm feeling pretty old, actually. Old enough to do the washing up? Washing up? Are you joking? Thought not. Pancakes! We always used to have pancakes on our birthday. You did, Henry. I preferred brioche au chocolat with saucisson à la mode. Yeah, you did. But it's my birthday today. So tell me Mum's making me pancakes. How should I know? You haven't put in a special request for that fancy French stuff, have you? You'll have to come downstairs to find out. Oh, it's not fair. All I want is pancakes on my birthday, and I can't even get that. My life is so bad. It's so um, bad. Henry, can I say something? I guess. As long as it's yes, there will be pancakes. The bad news is that time flies. Oh, yeah. The good news is that you are the pilot. Where do you get this stuff? Which means... You're a worm. Which means, Henry... You've bought me a plane for my birthday? No, Henry. It means that you are master of your own destiny. It means that you can do anything, go anywhere, be anyone you want to be. Deep for this time of the morning, Peter. It's deep for any time of the day, Henry. Now get up and be a man. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Well, I guess that bit's true. But isn't every day the first day of the rest of your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you smell what I smell, Fang? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For my birthday. That's right, Henry. Because it's your birthday today. It's so easy. 